welcome to Foresight's TV with me, Anjali. As the wall around is thickly engrossed and engaged in the maze of events centered around the evolving technologies, there is a constant concern with respect to an emerging technology, for it has the potential to process and think like humans, and that makes it all more unique and mysterious, with the thin edge of suspicion lingering down the spine as to whether this ultra-modern technology would go out of the reach of human control to engage itself in ways that could prove lethal to mankind and this is where the concern begins and the technology we have been mentioning about is nothing but AI, the artificial intelligence. And to make a comprehensive understanding and load ourselves with the necessary awareness as to spectrum of issues evolving around, we have to center for human security studies, the think tank at Hyderabad initiating a lively discussion under the brand name FireChat inviting Professor Iris Rechow from Ariel University of Israel, Dr. Ashok G, retired IAS and a distinguished fellow of CHSS and Mr. Sanjeev Bora, the technocrat accompanied by a host of luminaries under the lead of Dr. Ramesh Kanneganti, the founder director of CHSS. The discussion started off with a meticulous delineation of the multifarious dimensions of this amazing technology right up to the present day updation by Dr. Ashok Ji, the panelist igniting the minds of the invited audience, generating a well garnered enthusiasm amongst all. the chocolate if it pronounces it correctly. Right. That's for reinforcement. Right. Pavlov's condition uh, that comes from reinforcement. But we'll move on. And then uh, the other important thing is the, the machine uh, uh, deep learning. Now the deep learning is uh, one of the very important aspects of the learning. As you can see here, I'm going to show you the picture. Yeah, deep learning. So uh, that is uh, the component. It's based on our neurons of the brain and the model of the brain. And so it is called also artificial neural network. So it has a deep learning concept, it's a collection of statistical and machine learning techniques used to learn and also based on the concept of artificial neural networks. So it has a four layers. Uh, the input layer, hidden layer, output layer. So whatever comes to the input, it goes into a hidden layer and then output comes. And uh, so the machine is taught and uh, the information lands in the input and then processed in the hidden layer and comes as the output. So an example of this real life example in this. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you We have got all the examples. Okay, deep learning. And so, so AI is made possible because of two components. Remember, machine learning and deep learning. So here is the input, hidden and output. Then what are the stages of AI? Now we are in artificial narrow intelligence stage. There is a general, artificial general intelligence is likely to come by 2030 as told by Raymond, Raymond Kutzwold and also many of the experts. Uh, Ray Kutzwold talked about it by 2029 perhaps. And artificial super intelligence is the one that can come by 2045 or 2050. So it is presumed. Earlier it was supposed to be a science fiction uh, imagination, but now it seems to be a reality. The rate of AI is progressing faster, not in a linear pace, but at an exponential pace. So we may have AGI sooner than we realize, or sooner than later. So, uh, so now we are in artificial narrow intelligence, artificial general intelligence is likely to come by 2030, 2030, and of course some of the experts have their own uh, opinion. Some are setting it to, to 2040 also. Some of them are predicting 2030. I have the author's quoting, I wanted to have a slide, but it will be too technical. So, any time from 2030 to 2045, any time we may have AGI. And uh, then comes the artificial superintendence by 2045 and beyond 2050, it is visual. What are the differences in the AGI? AMI, AMI is the is a state of artificial intelligence involving machines that can perform only a narrow, defined set of specific tasks. Siri, Alexa, Tesla are examples of AI. Well, for example, even automated car is also AI. And playing a chess, 
World chess champion Gary Kasparov was defeated in 1996 by Deep Blue Computer and surprised the world that you would could be beaten. And so that was also an example of AI. It excelled in only chess, but not in other activities. Car only driving. So that is what we mean by in a performed specific task. It is called AI. The examples are silly, Alexa, Tesla. So there was also another game called Go. A world chess champion, the Gary Kasparov, was defeated by uh, artificial intelligence machine learning. And uh, later another game called Alpha Go. Alpha Go champion Lee Sidon was defeated 4 to 1. Go is a Chinese game, very difficult than chess. You can't predict, you can't uh, also visualize, you can't strategize easily. It is the most complicated game. Yet AI mastered it and defeated the world champion Alpha Lee Sidon by 4 to 1. Later they developed another more deep blue computer, uh, artificial intelligence computer, which developed AlphaGo 0 versus AlphaGo 100 to 0. A computer which went world champion was beaten 100 to 0 by another computer. So that is the amazing intelligence and amazing speed with which we play. And uh, I have come to say, then the, what is the AGI? I want to invoke here a very important concept called Turing test. What is Turing test? Uh, there was an Alan Turing uh, gentleman who talked about perceptrons and much uh, about uh, the computers uh, in, in the basic models in 1930s. So he said that, he, he uh, was advised a specific test. He said that when you interview a human being and a robo in a booth, keeping them in a kiosk and uh, administering a questionnaire, and if the answers are coming from both and the evaluator like me, or somebody who is evaluated is not able to decide the answers have come from the computer or a man. Then computer has become as smart as human being. And then the momentum was accelerated further with a solid presentation by the special invitee of the day, Professor Iris Retap, Associate Professor from Ariel University of Israel, wherein the learned professor took the audience through the importance of artificial intelligence for the truest promotion of human security, inviting a volley of credible exchange of knowledge all across. First, uh, thank you very much for all of you. It was a wonderful experience. Uh, for, thank you very much for Dr. Ramesh. And all the team, I had a great experience, great knowledge, I learned a lot. You are very nice people and um, very smart people <laughs> and doing great, uh, yeah, great jobs. Smarter. And um, I think uh, you are training for your uh, people here for, for good things and uh, wish you a lot of luck. Thank, Thank you, you very much Thank for you. the opportunity. In Hebrew, Beslaka. <laughs> so to the world peace, uh, so thank you, Professor Iris Rechuk, all the way coming from Ariel University, Israel. So Center for Human Security Studies uh, welcomes you into the family of Center for you know, Human Security Studies. Human security is a concept of United Nations. Freedom from want, freedom from fear, freedom to live with dignity are the cornerstones upon which human security concept is built upon by the then United Nations Secretary General Kofi Annan. So we have been following the suit. Very soon, we wanted to spread this. Every country must appoint a national human security advisor. Wow. Because <laughs> national security advisor is to take care of the traditional security issues of the country. Non-traditional security issues in the 21st century has become, or the, 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 the security challenges have become as important as traditional security challenges. That's why. We would love to take this momentum and spread around the globe. National Human Security Advisor to the Presidents and the Prime Ministers, whichever country that they belong to. Because we also believe in global family, global village, Vasudeva Kutumbakam. So that's the this thing. Now I request uh, Mr. Santosh Mehra, IPS sir. Sir, can you, I would love to just to say, ask you a few questions, sir. With a distinguished background from Indian Police Service, Santosh Mehra, IPS sir, stepped into Center for Human Security Studies as a distinguished fellow. Uh, sir, you being a cop for more than three decades of experience in Indian Police Service, very prestigious service you have cleared, and then you have served extensively in the coastal security parts of India. You are in uh, BPRND, you know, you are at uh, AP Special Police, uh, you know, uh, force. 
uh, you love technology integration to uplift the people of india so can you say few words about uh, your experience of today being party to this particular artificial intelligence for human security uh, fireside chat yeah. it is really a manner of great uh, i would say delight and honor for me to be part of uh, the chhs team and uh, i have been associated with this organization for the last one year or so and i am very happy uh, with the energy the commitment and focus of dr ramesh the director of this organization and all his team members they are doing a very good job despite the fact that uh, they have limited resources yes. uh, they are definitely you know punching above their weight and i find that every every week something new in some new initiative some new endeavor is being planned it is being implemented and today's function today's uh, i would say this fireside chat on artificial intelligence is a harbinger of uh, very exciting very interesting things to come yeah, yeah. and i find that chs is uh, you know very savvy in terms of picking up the right issues which confront uh, our country be it aviation security or coastal security or challenges in the field of cyber space uh, they are doing very well and i am sure that uh, the state government and even the government of india take cognizance of their contribution and start uh, giving them whatever resources in terms of capital human resources or r&d platform we all will be striving and striving for it thank and i wish dr ramesh the very best in his endeavors thank you thank you, thank you very much santosh mehra sir it means a lot you know a man of your eminence in policing in academics now you stepped into academics also it's going to really help uh, the, the think, think tank, tank the think tank yes. now i would like to put it on record my heartfelt gratitude and thanks to dr ashok ia sir a man with a medical degree getting into indian civil services and uh, serving with distinction and sir we have uh, requested you to be the head of the center of excellence on ai for human security so can you give us paucity of time 30 seconds uh, yeah. your reaction to that yeah. thank you ramesh it's a great pleasure to be a part of this deliberations today of the fire sir chart ai and the security and also the center of human security study that taken this wonderful initiative uh, when the world was under lockdown and was reeling under covid impact we have started this center of excellence on ai and uh, we have addressed the press conference and we have 2020 also december. 2020 december and uh, also we have uh, gone extensively into the risks advantages and the benefits of the ai and how ai is going to impact our society and how a can uh, we can reap the benefits of the ai in terms of health energy uh, agriculture and many other areas at the same time be a pressure group to bring about a favorable legislations uh, to curb the yes. harmful effects and also uh, direct the good advantages and encourage facilitate only the uh, better uh, the benefits and also boon of the Uh, derived you. from the ai thank you sir. so that is what thank you sir sanjeev bora sir uh, can you please step in because then it was the time for subtle meandering over the generation and real time application of this cutting edge technology by the panelist mr sanjeev bora putting things in their proper place and leading the group to the invaluable effects of artificial intelligence with a specific interest to the health domain demonstrating the wondrous utilization to the applause uh, you are into technology you are actually ai implementation you are on the ai implementation you conceive you plan you prepare and you perspire and you inspire through ai related with uh, health security sometime back you spoke about uh, skycop where how ai can be uh, you know used for the smart policing sir you will be happy to know center for human security studies in collaboration with nalsar university of law mm -hmm. we have come together chhss our think tank has given concept note and faculty for conducting a three day program on artificial intelligence for smart policing in 2021 december wow. you, you know so with your stepping in into chhss family now ai for health security because core of human security is health so can you react to whatever is happened today sir first of all thank you thank you for inviting me here and uh, introducing me to chhss and uh, never knew living in this city and uh, working in technology that such thing exists here as well right uh, coming to the ai and you know what you guys are doing it's 
First of all, AI has impact on every life. There's no doubt about it. We cannot escape. And I'm a believer that it's a positive impact, unless otherwise we all come together and build the guardrails, right? So which I believe we will. Uh, that, that's how humans survive. Uh, and you know, today's fire chat is definitely great. And uh, this is my first time experience with people like you that you guys talking AI. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I sit in a lab and talk, doesn't make any sense. I mean, obviously I talk because I'm inside that you guys are from different services yeah. and you're talking AI yeah. like me. <laughs> I was like, you know, this is something to be, you know, definitely there everywhere. Yeah. It means that a society can definitely shape up well. If we have so much of awareness and knowledge, definitely society will shape up and you know, we can definitely come up with a policy that's needed for this country Absolutely. and the world. Sir, so we can give that policy inputs to the government. Absolutely. And how to adopt a, a socially responsible AI. I know, but all our ex-policy makers are with us. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, 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 like yeah, tanks yeah, 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 so policy. definitely. Many, many make, officers. Yeah. Yeah. Stanford make. University is doing a program on HAI, sir. HAI, mm. Human Centered Artificial Intelligence. So I could not go. I got the invitation in mm -hmm. the month of October. I mm -hmm. could not go because of some personal reasons. I'll be going soon. So people are there thinking on those lines. Mm -hmm. Stanford University. Human centric. Yeah. Human centered or centric artificial intelligence. Yeah. It's, it's great, but as a human being, I consider me as part of this earth. That's my second area of work. That let's expand the horizon, human and every existence on this earth and earth. Right, because we are killing, I mean, one of the biggest drawback Climate. of AI is that we use extensive resources Excellent. of the Mother Earth. Mother. Right, let's, we have to build a very effective AI as well, and also think about other species as well, and Mother Earth, most Wonderful. importantly. Let's expand that the horizon. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. The moment we expand that way, Mother Earth will take care of us as well. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, Mother and Motherland yeah. are the two yeah. motivating factors. Mother Nature, yeah. Mother yeah. Earth. Yeah. yeah. So from other one planet, room. save yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you, Sanju Bora, sir. It means a lot. Uh, Thank you for in inviting. the presence of uh, our distinguished fellows, Dr. Ashok IA, sir, uh, Mr. Santosh Mehra, IPS retired, sir. Uh, we are welcoming you formally into our CHS Thank you. Thank as you a distinguished much. fellow because you have Please, that uh, kind of background. We look forward to your technical support and guidance. Yeah. 100%. Uh, Thank, you. This, uh, Thank you. Uh, Thank so you. I also invite you guys to my farm. I have a biodiversity uh, farm with me. Oh, no. uh, where where I it? do, uh, it's in Shankarpalli, pretty Shankar. close. Yeah. So where I try doing several things for uh, in the agriculture field, oh. where you don't need to. I mean, India is blamed for uh, you know uh, methane because we produce a lot of rice and wheat. Yeah. But I have, I produce rice in my farm without methane. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's not organic. It's natural. Natural. This so, is the right word. Okay. <laughs> So um, I introduced to a lot of people and Israel is one of the pioneer in that space. Oh. Uh, I keep learning from Israel as well about the agriculture. That would be interesting to know how you're doing. Will be yeah. interesting, sir. Uh, would like to visit your cattle are also home. going to be yeah. emitting a lot of methane. Exactly. Uh, so uh, unless otherwise mm. uh, you're using, I mean, if you're using, doing cattle farming, mm. you're uh, in emitting a lot of methane. Mm. Why are we doing, why do we have to do the cattle farming? Mm. Do we really need it? Maybe right, that sir. is the greed? 100%. <laughs> <laughs> so, with this happy note, uh, Sri Hari, uh, cyber security, would you like to say last word and then we'll close? Yeah, thank you for inviting me, Ramesh. Um, uh, cyber security will be the next uh, emerging technology in India, all over the world. Yeah. So, uh, you will be uh, helping? Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. definitely. Thank you. Thank you. And then you have so many friends in uh, United States. They will also be chipping in, like Ram Babu sir and yeah, many yeah, others. Sure, sure, sure. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Subhanesh Sharmagaru, uh, Sudhakar Sharmagaru from Four Sides TV. Uh, rather, uh, you are our host. <laughs> so we want coverage, to thank coverage. coverage. We want Excellent to thank coverage. you. So and, uh, you can sum it up. Here. You can, uh, you can uh, sum it up. Yes. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, at the outset, I would like to thank Ramesh Garu for inviting me to this wonderful program. Actually, the deliberation on AI is the felt need of the hour. We recently had two international conventions, one led by Joe Biden in US, and the other led by Rishi Sunak in UK. UK right. So both these conventions have drawn the international attention towards the regulation of AI. Yeah, right. And as Sar was telling, AI is good, and it has to be used only for positive purposes. 
Our Veda very clearly says, Shamno astu dvipade, sham chatushpade. Let there be good for bipeds and quadrupeds. That means for everyone. For everyone. So, yes. in the days to come, if permitted, I would like to give an interpretation of AI from the Vedic point of view. Awesome. As an as an Indologist. Well, definitely. So I can, I'll will. be doing that. Our AI International Conference, not only four sites, yeah. East, West, North, South, yes. uh, from all the angles, Good Every, things will come. 360 degrees. 360 degrees. 360 degrees. If, if our intentions are yes. pure, the whole universe will make it happen. Definitely. Will conspire to make it yeah, happen. Yeah, so we are all here. Yes. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. I want to thank four and, sites and officially. Thank you, sir. Yes. I want to thank four sites and four sites uh, management the team. Uh, team and uh, okay. from the cameraman to the CEO to the founder yes. who puts money into four sites. Yes. CHSS will be a knowledge partner to four sites because you are the you are having four languages yes. telecast. Yes, sir. You have uh, Telugu, English, Telugu, English, Kannada. Yes, Kannada, Hindi and Kannada. Hindi and Kannada. So, all four languages, yes. let these good the thoughts yes. go on. Four sides, yes. four sides. Four sides. Four sides. So, actually, this name was coined from the Vedic words from Rugveda. Rugveda. Ano bhadraha kratavo yantu vishwataha. Let good come from all the four directions. Four sides. North, East, West, South. So, yes. so from West Asia, from Israel, Madam has come. <laughs> we, really, we are very, we are so glad that we could meet Professor yeah, Iris all the way from Israel. Israel. We are so happy that she has given so much of enlightenment to us regarding AI and to Mehra sir and to Ashok Thank sir and to Bora our technocrat Bora sir and Ramesh sir Thank and you, sir. to Sri Hari, Sri Hari, Sri Hari sir, sir. Okay. and to the entire team. And I wish the, and Madam, oh, so Professor, Bram Professor Brahmarishri Madam, Madam yes, yes. because being a professor is something extraordinary. Oh. Because a lamp, which is a lamp, it can give glow yes, to yes. so many lamps. Yes. And in this, uh, can ignite other lamps. definitely, in this context, I would like to say that I was an assistant professor of management oh, with Ayman New Delhi for oh, quite yeah. some time. Okay. So I know how it will be to teach a student and to see how they groom up. So it's a wonderful thing out to be here. Thank you, everyone. So there are uh, some people who are missing in this conference, but it is my uh, earnest duty to thank them. Yes. Sri Umapati IPS sir, our distinguished fellow, Sri Anjana Sinha IPS madam, uh, Dwarka Trimal Rao sir, uh, Gautam Savang sir, Padmanabhaya sir, former Union Home Secretary, Sri H. D. Dwara sir, Dr. Mohan Kanda sir, former Chief Secretary, uh, our Director General MCR HRD, Dr. Shashank Goel sir, and many other IPS IAS officers, Amit Garg IPS sir, and uh, so many professors who are behind this. And I would like to thank my team. Without them, I mean, I, uh, this particular day wouldn't have been a realistic day. So I want to thank Mr. Krishna. Mr. Sundaram, Ms. Ramya, last but not the least, uh, Ms. Tapashini for all your communication to outsiders and putting things in order here. And uh, Jeba, all the best. Thank you very much. And Madrima, thanks to you for going to Israel, uh, Japan, Japan. 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 Okay. So, yeah. Jai Hind, uh, Dr. Ramesh Kanaganti, Center for Human Security Studies. Jai Hind. Thank you. very strongly all through the discussion was a keen and kindled aspiration to avert the fullest spectrum of artificial intelligence with a caution to envelop the technology with the purest ethical code as so as to make artificial intelligence a blessing onto mankind. Well, thank you for watching Foresight's TV with me, Anjali.